Hi everyone and welcome to today's mini lecture. In today's mini lecture we will be discussing molecular bonds. So when I use the word molecular bonds or molecular compounds I'm also talking about covalent bonds and covalent compounds. They're the exact same thing. So if we look up here what is going to tell you that you're dealing with a molecular uh, compound? Well first of all if you remember there are three types of bonds and a nonmetal with a nonmetal forms a molecular compound. So these are the ones that we're going to be looking at. So the very first thing that you need to do is just simply look at your elements and see if you have a nonmetal and a nonmetal. If you do, this is the set of rules that we're going to use. Now in order for us to do this, we have to know a couple of basic uh, prefixes because we use prefixes to tell us the numbers of the different elements. So first of all, we have for one, mono, two is di, three is tri, four is tetra, five is penta, six is hexa, seven is hepta, eight octo, nine nona, and ten is deca. Now, whenever you get ready to start writing the names of these or the chemical formulas, all you have to do is look for the prefix and know the number that that prefix means. So how can you always tell that you're dealing with um, molecular compounds? Well, number one, you can identify it if it's a nonmetal, nonmetal. But number two, if the, if the names start having prefixes in them, probably going to be a telltale that you're dealing with a molecular compound. So in the first one, the rules are very, very simple. I have a name, phosphorus pentachloride. I want to write its chemical formula. So number one, do you see how it ends in I-D-E? That means it's binary. It only contains two elements. So all I have to do is look at the first one, phosphorus. Now if you notice, there's not a mono on this one. So if it is the first element in the compound's name and it doesn't have any prefix with it, then it is just one. So you don't write a mono. So it'll be capital P, that's the symbol for the phosphorus, and then penta chloride. So chloride is referring to Cl, which is chlorine, and then penta, if we look over here, is going to be the prefix for five. So that tells us how many chlorines we have. It's that simple, phosphorus penta chloride. Let's do another one. This one says dihydrogen monoxide. Now if the prefix ends with a uh, vowel and the word that you're using, whatever the element is, starts with a vowel, you don't double vowel it. You usually drop the uh, last for the prefix. So when I look at this, you see how instead of saying monoxide, we dropped one of the O's and just said monoxide. All right, so hydrogen, I write my H. This time I've got dye for my prefix. Di is two, and then monoxide, that's oxygen, and then it's going to be one of them. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not even going to write the one. So dihydrogen monoxide, <laughs> chemical word for it, water. All right, let's look at the next one. On our next examples, we're going to actually write the name of a molecular compound if we're given the chemical formula. So in the chemical formula, I have N. Cl3. So my nitrogen is only one of them, but remember it's the first one written so I don't write mono with it. I just write nitrogen. Nitrogen. My second one is going to be chlorine. So instead of writing out the word chlorine, since there's only two, I know it's going to drop the E and add IDE. So it's chloride. Before I even do that, what is the number? Three. So I look over here, my prefix for three is going to be a tri. So I'm going to call this nitrogen tri for the three, and then it's going to be CHL chloride ending in IDE. So that is going to be nitrogen tri chloride. All right, I have one more that I'd like to do for you, and this one is an N2O2. So the nitrogen has a 2, so I look over there, that would be a di. So this is 
is going to be dinitrogen. And notice that it is the full name of the first element. You don't add I-D-E-S, the ending. The second one is oxygen, and there's two, so it's going to be di. Dye, instead of writing dioxygen ide, you drop the engine and you put dioxide. It's kind of tough. So we got dinitrogen, dioxide. So those are the rules. That's it for molecular compounds. So I hope that this is helping you. Um, just make sure that when you get ready to do this, that you know your prefixes or you have these prefixes in front of you. So Prefixes, all of our binary compounds end in an IDE, and then just make sure that you use the prefix that matches the subscript number. It tells you how many atoms. So I hope you learned from this video, and I can't wait until our next mini lecture.